This video demonstrates the various light effects available with Digitrax mobile decoders. These light effects are talked about in the mobile decoder manual, second version, in section 9. 9.2 of the manual tells you and shows you how to set up these light effects in your decoders. We will not be going into how to do that with this video. We will only be showing you what the light effects are like. The light effects that we refer to as FX3 effects are random flicker, Mars light, flashing headlight, single pulse strobe, double pulse strobe, rotary beacon, gyro light, Fred, or end of train type device, rule 17 dimmable headlight, and ditch lights. In today's video, we will be using a dummy locomotive, that is one with no motor, that has several lights mounted in it. Those lights are going to be using the exhaust for your random flicker, both random flicker A and random flicker B, also sometimes referred to as firebox flicker. A, an LED for a rotary beacon, a bulb, an incandescent bulb, we will use to demonstrate both a single pulse strobe and a double pulse strobe, two headlights, the top headlight we will use to demonstrate the Mars light and a gyro light, our headlight, our ditch lights, and on the rear, we've got our rear headlight and a red LED that we will use to demonstrate the FRED or end of train type device. We have this headlight configured uh, for Rule 17 dimmable lighting to where you can dim the light using the function 4 key or when the locomotive is reversed. You'll notice that we press the F4 key and the light dims. Now we put it back to normal brightness and if the locomotive is put in reverse, the headlight stays on but dims also. With Digitrax decoders, the ditch lights come on only when the headlight is on. They are connected to functions one and two, and these are configured so they will alternate when the number two key is pressed, which is normally assigned to the horn function. Notice we press F2, and the ditch lights alternate for a period of time. That period of time is determined by a configuration variable, specifically CV number 63, and what value you put into it. You can also change the blink rate on the ditch lights. This is the Mars light. This effect can be assigned to most any function uh, on your decoder by simply going to the appropriate configuration variable and giving it a value of 34 decimal. This is the gyro light effect. Again, you can assign this particular light effect to most any function on the decoder by giving the appropriate CV or configuration variable 
a value of 39. This is the rotary beacon effect obtained by giving the appropriate CV a value of 38. This is using an LED. You will probably get a little bit better effect using an incandescent bulb. This is the single pulse strobe using an incandescent bulb in this case. And you obtain this effect by giving the appropriate CV a value of 36. To obtain a double pulse strobe, you give the appropriate CV a value of 37. And this is the double pulse strobe. Next we have the random flicker effect, here using the exhaust stack of the locomotive. We get that with a single, or flicker A, if you will. And if you combine a second bulb on a second function using random flicker phase B, you can get an even more realistic effect. This is often used by putting bulbs or LEDs in a steam locomotive's firebox area for firebox flicker. Last, and appropriately so, we demonstrate the FRED or end of train device. Here we use a red LED.